Welcome back to another Outdoor Switched to Linux. And today we want to question this. Is it right for cell phone companies to be shutting down a lot of their networks in the time when the economy is going crazy and people can barely afford gasoline for their cars and things like this? And I asked this question because they're saying, well, we're starting shutting down our 3G networks. Well, it's actually not just our 3G networks. And uh, this story, I have a friend with a same phone that I was using for a long time, the Nexus 5X. We put Lineage on it. And on that particular phone, everything was working just fine. And about a month ago, his phone stopped being able to send or receive phone calls. Now, he could still text and process data. And uh, so he's asking me about it. He's like, well, I don't know, something went down. So he buys a new phone. And it's a phone that was literally just released. It is the Motorola 9 Pure. He had that, worked fine for about two weeks, and the phone stopped being able to send or receive phone calls, but text and data still worked. Now, he's using AT&T. So I pulled up the bands that AT&T is using. I looked at all the different phones, and it would appear that AT&T is shutting down LTE networks at the same time they're shutting down 3G networks, and it seems as though the purpose, of course, their solution, well, just buy a new phone from us for $1,000. The fact of the matter is we have phones that work perfectly fine. And even this Motorola is a perfectly fine phone. It's like, I don't know, 100 150 bucks. It's under 150 I think, is the retail. He bought it new. It was literally just released in 2021. Now, there's some controversy. Some people say it's not on the compatibility list. Some people says it is. But he takes it back to AT&T itself and says, hey, why will this phone suddenly not receive calls or uh, you know can't do calls and things? And their whole solution is just buy a new phone. He just bought a new phone two weeks ago that was working perfectly fine. Is there an issue with the phone? I don't know. So these are some of these questions that we're asking. And so I'm looking at this story going, suppose we all have phones that work perfectly fine. We have phones that work fine. The company just decides they're going to shut down networks to obsolete several perfectly fine working phones, meaning... How many millions of tons of phones have to be discarded into the trash because they simply want to turn it off the switch? Why? Well, we can maintain the 5G network. Let me talk about the 5G network for a little bit. Okay, an LTE tower has about a 10-mile range. A 5G network, if you get a mile out of it, that is good. Oh, but we can download stuff fast. You don't need to download a two-hour movie in 3.2 seconds. It takes you two hours to watch the stupid thing. We don't need 5G networks with 10 times the amount of towers to support phones. We need a system where I can go in the middle of the woods like I am here and get signal because there's a cell tower five miles that way that happens to broadcast in this general direction. You're not doing that with 5G. You're not doing that with 5G at all. So what's happening is we're getting all of these phones are becoming obsolete. So I pulled up the bands from AT&T, and it does turn out that several of the bands on the Nexus 5X and even several bands on this brand new Moto G Pure are lacking. They are lacking. Brand new phones are lacking bands that AT&T apparently doesn't have and will be shutting down. And this is raising a lot of serious concerns about planned obsolescence and the phones particularly in a time when inflation is going through the roof gas prices are going through the roof everything is costing everybody more do americans really have enough money to be throwing at brand new phones and it's not even just buying brand new phones it's brand new thousand dollar flagship phones because they're the ones with all of these bands. Now I'm pretty sure this Razer phone two that I'm using to record this video is still supported by their network. It wasn't on the compatibility list, but it's also a small enough company. It probably wouldn't be there, but I pulled up the bands and this phone has a lot more bands than a lot of your other budget phones have. Now, some people said, well, this phone should work perfectly fine. The, the Moto G pure because they are selling it. They're even selling it at Walmart as a uh, as a prepaid plan. Uh, it has, does appear on the lists, but still, why is AT&T saying it's not compatible? Very good questions. 
So as Verizon is starting to shut down towers, they're saying, well, you have to have HD LTE in order to keep using Verizon. So they keep on sending me a message saying I need to upgrade my Verizon phone or my, uh, my other phone, which is a Nexus 5G. Well, that does have HD LTE. So what are they talking about? Well, some of the Nexus 5G, uh, 5X's didn't, some of them did have that, and so it raises a serious question. But it boils down to this question once again. Do these companies need to be shutting down networks to prioritize a network that's going to take 10 times more towers for better internet speed? Better internet speed. We don't need to download stuff that fast on the go. You can get your gigabit internet at home if you need to download something that fast. We don't need 5G in all of these zones. Okay, and I'm not talking about all the 5G crazy conspiracies. I'm just saying, talking about a matter of practicality. What, what are you going to put a, a 5G tower every mile down this mountain ridge so that somebody can get 5G in here? No, but I actually, I have signal here. Because, I don't know, five, ten miles that way, there's a cell tower. And it's an LTE tower. And that's the thing we're getting. So these are those questions that we need to be asking ourselves. We're going to go ahead and leave this one here for now, a little bit shorter video than usual, but uh, as you can see, I'm walking in the middle of a national park right now, and um, uh, that way we're just going to go with this. But I thought this was compelling enough to uh, get a video out for you guys. So what do you guys think down below? Uh, should we be petitioning to, hey, keep these things on? Why don't you maintain the structures that's working with thousands of phones and prevent millions of dollars or millions of dollars, millions of pounds of, of e-waste? Just keep things going. Let me know your thoughts about all that in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.